Yes, I am actually going to review this movie. Uh, going into it, I can say I already knew it was going to be bad. But I figured I'd still give it a chance. Like, maybe there was that little little bit of hope that it'd still be good. But that got crushed within the first five minutes of the movie. Um, I'm going to list just good things about the movie and then bad things. Uh, so, like... You want to hear the bad things, you probably only have to skip about 10 seconds through because there's really not that many. Uh, good things. The first thing I liked was the origin of the Kamehameha. Uh, that, like, Roshi's was all fancy and then Goku just kind of did it. That was one of the... V it, it, it was still... It still wasn't well done. I don't want to say it was, like, amazing. But they at least got the origin there. They tried to get it right. Uh, the next thing was the way the Dragon Balls even looked. I thought that it was, uh, I thought it was a really, I thought that this is what they would look like in real life, pretty much. Um, the capsules, I thought, were done really, really well, because uh, maybe something little, and then like threw it out, and like it grew. And, uh, and one of the only characters I actually liked in the whole movie that was developed the way the show actually developed him was Yamcha. And I'm probably going to get flamed for this, but I actually liked the way they developed his character. Because it was the exact same way the show did it. And like... There wasn't any bullcrap to it. Not like the rest of the characters though. Uh, for... Oh god, there's so much stuff wrong with this movie. Okay. Um, first thing... Bulma having guns. I'm still confused about this. Because... If I remember Dragon Ball correctly... It, she never did anything. Like, she built stuff, but that was about it. Like, she never killed anyone or, like, tried to... <sighs> yeah. Uh, another one... And this is probably a spoiler, but, you know... If you really want to go see this movie, then you can go ahead. I mean, probably won't give away that much. The fact that during the movie, Goku gets knocked out... And Roshi Kamehameha is his chest and he comes back to life. I still don't understand that. Because in the show, if they ever did that on anyone, it always, like, killed them. Or it almost killed them. Or, like, something like that. Not not heal them. It was dumb. Um, if you were actually a fan of Dragon Ball, you'll understand what's going on. But you're going to be very disappointed. If you never saw the show, you're going to have no idea what the fuck is going on. And you're gonna hate it. So, if you watch the show or if you didn't watch the show, you're gonna you're, you're gonna be fucked over either way. It doesn't even matter. Uh, the way they did attacks, the key attacks, and it was just it just didn't look good. Like in the show, they were like usually look like what like if they just did key attacks, they were just like little little like yellow like energy balls. But in this one, they're like they're like different colors, and I'll just I'll just. They, they talk about also how there's three different types of key attacks, how there's air, fire, and earth. I don't remember any of that ever, like, being true. I remember there was just one. It was just energy. Like, ugh. And they messed up charging. That's another thing that made me mad. The, the charging of it. The way they did charging was they, like, did some fancy hand movements, and they, like, breathed in and out really, like, over dramatically. And in the show, they just, like, they just bent over and, like, they just, I don't, they just started yelling. And that made up charge. The, um, the fact that Goku goes to high school. Goku never went to any kind of school, if I remember that correctly, from Dragon Ball. From Dragon Ball. Like, ugh, he, he just, he just didn't go to high school. He, he lived, after his grandpa died, he's, like, he was living in that house, and then, like, he goes and, like, the whole adventure of the Dragon Ball. And then he just, oh, ugh. Uh, the way Gohan dies, Grandpa Gohan, it was very disappointing. Like, Piccolo crushes his house. And that just, oh, that's not what happened. They even included the, the monkey in this movie. And it just, like, it astounds me. Why couldn't they put that in at this part and him kill him? But they, had, they they didn't do that, but they put him at the end where Piccolo fights the monkey, which never happened. Um, the, in the middle of the movie, they have a martial arts tournament that Chi-Chi's in, and uh, she fights Mai. But, like, 
there's like some like school they say and it just uh oh, it, i don't know if it was trying to be the world martial arts tournament or what if they're just trying to reference it i, I don't even know i'm gonna talk about characters now because I, I that's uh there's so much i could just keep going on and on with the list i could probably complain about this movie longer than the actual movie was which it was only an hour and 25 minutes which still kind of makes me mad but i'm so glad i have to sit through that any longer um, Piccolo, I'm gonna first complain about him. Like, whenever you first see his face, it, it really doesn't look that bad. Like, if you saw Piccolo, and if you ever imagined him in real life, that's what he would probably look like. But then they show you his costume, and that's the thing that was just like, damn. Because the costume was just terrible, and Piccolo really only talks like, I think he has like five lines in the movie. So, and he's hardly even in it, but he's supposed to be the main villain. It just, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, I'll, I'll talk about Mai since she's supposed to be the other villain. If I remember, if this is the same Mai I'm thinking of, where's the little fox thing in Pilaf? Because they always, um, if I remember, Pilaf was like the leader and she was like on his side. Like, like, like an assassin, but she's by herself now working with Piccolo. And, just, uh, uh, another one was Goku. God damn. Why is he the only person in the whole movie that isn't Asian? Like, I'm not even, I, I'm just, I'm really confused about this still. Every single person in this whole movie, well, most, most people, not, not all of them. Because there's a couple people at the high school that aren't. But, like, all, like, the main characters are Asian, except Goku. Like, even Goku's grandfather is. Like, I understand that he's a Saiyan and everything, like, he's not from Earth, but, like... I don't know, I just kind of thought that was funny. And Goku, honestly, he, he fights in regular clothing the whole time. He doesn't actually get the little orange jumpsuit until, like, the last five minutes. And then he, it just, oh. And then he goes and turns into the monkey, and then he still has the suit on somehow, and then he shrink. Oh, God, it's retarded. Uh, last character, Chi-Chi. Okay, so I remember that Chi-Chi could fight well in the show, but... Not to the point where, like, I don't know, like, I and I, and I guess this would kind of be a good thing, but at the very, the very end of the movie, Chi Chi and Goku actually have a fight, uh, and in Dragon Ball they had a fight and they said, and Chi Chi said if she won that they would get married, and I think Goku throws the fight, if I remember correctly, I don't remember though, but um, and then that was like that was like it reminded me of that, but like. Chi Chi actually fights really, really well. I don't know. It just, it just seemed kind of weird because in DBZ she didn't do anything, but in Dragon Ball she was actually a good fighter. So if they actually make another one of these, which, God, I hope they don't. If they make a second one of these, it'll probably be the Saiyan saga, and I don't think they can. Ah, oh God, if they fuck up Vegeta, I'm gonna just be so sad because it, it'll just be bad. Yeah, and closing words, just just don't see it. It is a terrible, terrible movie. It. I wish, honestly, I could get my 650 back. And I wish that they would pay me money for having to sit through it all the way. But, uh. Also, if you're gonna go see it, make sure you see it with someone. That's the only way I got through the movie. If I hadn't gone with anyone, I would have. I probably would have walked out. Just, just saying. And make sure if that they, they're a fan of Dragon Ball too, because then you guys just make fun of it. <sighs> but uh, that's basically my. If I had to give this a rating, honestly, I give it a one out of five. This is one of the worst movies I have ever seen before. Like I'm not even joking. And I just realized I'm getting close to ten minutes, so I'm just gonna end this now. So, you know, and all in all, just don't see it if you're a fan of Dragon Ball. And if you're not a fan of Dragon Ball, don't see it. And if you really have to go see it, just don't see it. Uh, well, till next time, this is to Future Boy. Stay tuned for scenes from the next episode. Shut the fuck up!